How's it going? I was chatting to Sean from Sean's Garden a little bit earlier and he told me to make a clip so I must obey. So I thought we'd start up the top here. I'm just trying to make it a quick one. This is the Wicking Pawpaw air pruning barrel and she's just flying along going great guns. Had a bit of a hailstorm the other day so we got some damage on the leaves, a couple of the leaves were shredded. But the plant itself has just gone gangbusters. Um, I swear it's grown about half a foot. We've got some lovely beautiful flowers coming on in there so hopefully if we get enough moths around we'll get some nice fruit come on and set on this one soon. Just on papayas down here at the aquaponics, I just found this after I finished filming. This here is a hornworm or a hawk moth caterpillar. He'll turn into a hawk moth and these are the guys that are responsible for pollinating pawpaws or papayas. So put a bit of a link on these guys down in the description below, hey? Pretty cool looking caterpillar. Just over here the rest of the yard. I've got some chook scrapings and a broken chili plant. This little bell chili. He's been doing pretty well. This was the barrel that was where the pawpaw is now and I've moved him over here. Had a bit of a, uh, a nutritional deficiency but I fed it up and the new growth is looking really healthy and the fruit that's on there is starting to ripen off so it's, it's, it's doing what it should do. I'm not too sure whether I'll keep it yet or just wait until this fruit comes off and we'll pull the plant. It's a couple of years old and I'm a bit sentimental about it. We'll just wait and see. The water chestnuts are booming in this bed here. And we've also got the Kangkong in here, it's doing rather well. Not as good as the aquaponic Kangkong, but it's still growing. It's just a sealed up bathtub. It's, uh, yeah, can't really complain. Over here, this is my little garden of marigolds. They're all marigolds that Kira sewed out. So a little carpet of marigolds. The compost down in here is still cooking away. Uh, put some worms down in this side here. See if we can see any. Ah, they're all, oh, there's a nice big one down in there. See if we can shade it, give you a better look. Nice big fella. So the compost has cooled down now, so I've put the worms through here. And they're like the, the second part to the system. They'll start breaking the organic matter down further. So really, ha really happy about that. The mango tree next door fell over in a storm we had a couple of weeks ago. So I've started to collect some of the timber from that to make more mulch up with. Down here. Strawberry barrel is still pumping out strawberry and started to throw out runners, so I'm going to collect some more runners. These plants are just looking fantastic. Planted out some turmeric in this barrel. It used to be a raspberry plant. I was going to try and save the raspberries and give them to Jasmine, an online friend, but unfortunately the plants didn't survive, so I've made use of that barrel with the turmeric. Down here we have some little ginger. This is Kanka ginger. Uh, from the Indonesian islands, I think. I'm fairly sure it's from Indonesia. I know it's used widely throughout Asia. So it had a very pretty little purple flower on it the other day. Uh, over the back there, we've got some stars and moon watermelon. It's just gone crazy. The other Madras turmeric's flowering. It's looking rather nice as well. Lemongrass is still thumping along. And just a little worm barrel down in there. This little zucchini, it's not little anymore. It's just gone crazy. Just pushing out through the fly netting. Let's pop in here. We've got some fruit down in there that's ready to pick. I miss pollinating a couple of them, but that's, that's life. This bed here looking a bit wilty today. It's a little bit warmer than normal. And we have a feral cucumber vine that I've left um, just do its own thing. Just come out of some worm castings in there. I think it's a cucumber. Could be a rock melon. Wait and see. But as you can see from these carrots, um, yeah, it's a little bit hot and Everything's looking like it could do with a bit of a drink today. Uh, same with these guys over here. These beds were filled up the other day, so I know it's not a, a water issue. Um, the rest of the hoop house things are going all right in here. Can't really complain. These strawberries have just been pumping out the fruit as well. I've trimmed back the little um, cherry tomato that was in here. Zucchini, zucchini, spaghetti squash, it's still setting fruit. Got a couple on here. As you can see, powdery mildew. We had a few days of rain a couple of weeks ago and the powdery mildew has just moved in. It's pretty much all wiped out a lot of the leaf matter over there. Um, I've just cut them back. Finally got some okra that's coming through. It was smothered by the um, squash. We've got some black Russian tomatoes. Oh, a bit hard for you to see, but now that the netting's over that section of the, the garden as well, we're actually getting tomatoes, nice beautiful fruit out of that area, so really impressed with that. Glad I put that up there. What else? Um, 
planted out a couple of turmeric in here, there's one there and one over there and I'm going to do a bit of a trial with some little worm feeders in here I'll hope to look into that this week these snake beans, they're just pumping, pumping out the fruit still so I've let a couple just dry off on the plant I'm just going to leave the pods there, that'll be next year's crop uh, some of the KY1s oh, just to let you know too, if you've seen the um, mite clip I posted I think I've, uh, the KY1s look like they've bounced back really nicely. They do need another spray. I was supposed to do it the other day, but it was a bit too hot when I had a chance. Um, there's some nice fruit over there on that Black Russian. Hopefully they'll come off very soon. Should have shown it to you while I was over there. And we have a couple of chilies on the old market chili that are going to be ready to come off soon if it comes into focus. So really impressed with that. The dead and dying plants you can see in this bed. There's one there and there's a few more over here they're lettuce that have gone to seed and we're just letting the seed fall where they may in the beds so we can um, yeah, get some more seed little, little seedlings just pop up by themselves so everything in here bar needing a bit of a drink is yeah, flying along can't really complain at all um, the yakon in this barrel is just outstanding uh, looks spectacular definitely be keeping the rhizomes from this one for seeds and it looks like we're going to get some cape gooseberries uh, none of the Colorado potato beetles will be, uh, have been um, found in the hoop house, so I think we've kept them out. So we might actually get some Cape gooseberries off this year. Really impressed with that. Uh, venture out here. West Indian sour gherkins are going all right. Um, there's a couple of fruit on. I'll see if I can find one. I know he was over there. I don't know where he's gone. Ah, oh, there he is. They're a little spiky little gherkin cucumber. I got those seeds from Peter. Thank you very much, sir. It's just flying along. Over the back there, we have a chook sunning itself. G'day, chookies. Oh, I also changed the watering um, system in the chook house, but I'll do a separate clip on that. Um, Wilty Comfrey, I dug some up for a mate. A new mate, made a new friend online and he popped over. These tomatoes are still going gangbusters. Beautiful fruit, they're all up over the top. Oh, look at that, there's a nice hand of them all over the top of the chook coop as well as our glass gem corn this stuff got shredded with the hail as well but it's bounced back nicely we can actually see it from the house now it needs a bit of a water today actually it's um, soaking up the water really really well from these beds over here the zucchini this zucchinis just keep pumping out fruit they've been so prolific this zucchini this was the first one that came off these plants and I thought what I'd do is I'd save the first um, zucchini off one of the plants just so it's got the full vigor and all the energy can go into seed production so I've left him on there for quite a while now and I'd say it's ready to come off to collect seed from got some other fruit down there setting really happy with that the blueberry over there has stopped producing fruit but it's still putting out new growth so I'm happy with that can't really make that out um, over here, Gallangal and the turmeric, uh, turmeric, sorry, they're still flying along, looking nice and healthy, new shoots coming up all the time, some feral sweet potato growing through there as well, but just the amount of flowers we got on this Gallangal this year was rather, rather impressive, um, yeah, really, really like the Gallangal, so really happy with that, and this corn, looking fantastic. Really can't get over how well this stuff has grown. Just up in here, this is a bit of a mixed bag bed. This is one that we thought was infested with nematodes. So I had some mustards planted out and they've self sown and they're growing again. Marigolds, as you can see, there's a sea of marigolds in there. One lonely eggplant. I thought it was infested with nematodes, but it, I think it just died back over winter. It's bounced back now. A little bit of a fruit on over there and more flowers. So we'll get some nice white eggplant off this. And the daikon, the daikon self-seeded in here. Um, so we're going to get another crop of daikon out of this. We've actually got daikon, believe it or not, coming up here in the pavers. Yeah, it looks like one there. There's one I've been treading on over here in the gravel. And there's another one over the other side of the um, aquaponics growing in the gravel over there. So rather impressive. The aquaponics is going really well, but... I'll do a different clip on that soon, I want to show you something there. Um, yeah, so I suppose that's pretty much all it. So there you go, there's a bit of an update, a bit of a walk around the back patch. I know I haven't done one for a while, so there you go. Your turn now, Sean. Time to pop one up. Um, yeah, so there's, there really is not a lot going on at the moment other than just feeding them up and a couple of problems I've got to deal with. But yeah, I might share them with you at a later date. Um, yeah, pretty happy with the way things are going. 
If you've got any comments, questions or suggestions about anything you've seen here, like always, pop them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you. Uh, running a bit behind the eight ball at the moment, we've got a few different um, gatherings and bits and pieces on, so I haven't been able to answer a lot of comments um, or questions of late, so I'll hopefully knock them over in the next couple of days, as well as the ones from this clip. So, yeah, I suppose all that's left to do is to wish everyone the best Christmas they can have, the best Hanukkah they can have, no matter how or what you celebrate, I hope it's a fantastic one and you get to spend it with your family and friends. Um, yeah, other than that, I'm going upstairs after I water a couple of beds. I'm going to have a nice cold drink. Have a great one all and take it easy. Catch ya.